Hi students, welcome to the problem solving session on Stokes theorem. Let us solve this problem. Given that f is equal to x squared plus y squared ax minus 2xy a1. Verify Stokes theorem for a rectangular path bounded by lines x is equal to plus or minus a and y is equal to b. Right, so first we make a pictorial representation, then it is easy for us to solve the problem. So what they have given, it is a rectangular path. Right, which is bounded by a line x is equal to plus or minus a. So let us draw this diagram first. Okay, so this is x axis, this is y axis. X is in x axis, it varies from minus a to plus a. Okay, fine. This is uh, minus a, this is plus a, and y varies to b, y is equal to b. Fine. Okay. So this is B. Got it. That is this point is B. Okay. Right. So this length. Now I give a name for this rectangle. Let me call this is A, this is B, this is C, and this is D. I have to verify Stokes theorem. Stokes theorem states that uh, curl of surface integral D is uh, is equal to closed line integral right it relates surface and the line integral so first we write this now we have to find the f dot dl and the delta cross f dot ds okay first we will find the right side step one left uh, right hand side is given by closed integral f dot dl that means f is given by um, x squared plus y squared ax right and uh, minus 2xy ay right dot dl now it is closed so what is the closed path here uh, a b c d a it is a closed path right so i split uh, this closed uh, boundary into Four different integral. What is that? Uh, first, I split into a to b, right? F dot dl plus b to c, f dot dl plus c to a, f dot dl plus uh, c to d, uh, c to d, f dot dl plus d to a uh, f dot d okay so we are instead of finding a full at the same stretch i decompose into four different lines right okay first let us find uh, integral a to b f dot d okay so from a to b what is that from a to b you see here a to b is a uh, x is equal to a line right so a to b is this line is x is equal to a line okay so from a to b x is equal to a this implies dx is equal to 0 and from a to b y varies from 0 to b yes or no so because you see it is starting from 0, y, y goes from y is equal to 0 to b. Now we solve this. So dx component is 0. So only y has a value and x has no value. Yes or no? Why? Because if you substitute a f value a to b, right, f is given by x squared plus y squared ax minus 2xy ay dot dl dl is here dx ax plus dy ay right so here we found from a to b dx is 0 so make it 0 this will be cancelled and what happens ax dot ay will be 0, only ay ay will, will be having value. So, integral a to b minus 
to here x is equal to a to a y d y a y dot a y is one. Why I made x is equal to a because already I know x is equal to a. Moreover, the integration is with respect to y, so I want only one variable. So x is equal to a. I can substitute. If you do that, what will happen? Integral a to b here y varies from zero to b. So the integration is with respect to y. So substitute integral varies from zero to b to a y d y. Right? If you simplify that, what do you get? Uh, minus two a cube by three. Sorry, minus two. Okay. If you simplify that. You will get uh, minus a b square, right? So this is what the answer for integral a to b. So integral a to b f dot d l is given by minus a b square, right? Next, similarly we go for uh, b to c. B to c here f dot d l. Here, what is the thing happening? Here, y is equal to b, and uh, x varies from uh, plus a to minus a. Y, you see, from b to c, well, from b to c, this is a b maximum value. It is a y is equal to b line. Fully everywhere, it is y is equal to b. So here, y is equal to b, and x varies from here. Plus a and here minus a. So x varies from minus a to plus a to minus a, and y is equal to b. Fine. Okay. So now we substitute. So what is the thing happening here? X only varies. So x component will be present. Y component will be zero. So like this, here y varies. So we have only y component. X is constant, so x dx zero. So here y is constant, so dy will be zero. So what will happen? We we'll neglect the dy component directly. You write no need to substitute every time. So I can write as uh, uh, what is that thing? The x component only present here. What is x component? X squared plus y squared dx. Where x varies from plus a to minus a. Plus a to minus a. Fine. If you simplify that, what you get is uh, minus 2a cube by 3 minus 2ab square. So, what is the thing ha happening here? Integral b to c f dot dl is given by minus 2a cube by 3 minus 2ab square. Right? Okay, this is what see why I write like this. You understand, right? Okay, next is c to d integral c to d f dot d. This we have to find from c to d. You see what is happening from c to d from c to d y is equal to b, right? It is y is equal to b line. Sorry, here x is equal to minus a, right? This line is x is equal to minus a line. Y varies from b to 0. Here it is b, it is 0. That's what I'm going from c to d, right? So c to d means here y is equal to b, here y is equal to 0. So y moves from b to 0, x is equal to minus a. Okay, so now what is the thing? Here x is equal to minus a, y varies from b to 0. So x is equal to minus a means dx 0. So x component will be absent, only y varies. So what will happen? Only y component we have to take. Okay. So what is my y component? Uh, minus 2xy into dy. Right. So if you want to substitute, and you get the same answer like this. Right. Okay. Now y varies from b to 0. Integration with respect to y. So y varies from b to Zero. Now x is equal to a. Every integration with respect to y. So replace x. X is equal to a. Two a. Uh, b to zero. Y dy. If you simplify that, what you get is minus a b square. So from c to d. Right. F dot d l is uh, minus a b square.
x to d to a right similarly d to a f dot d l right d to a will be going from here to here right this is what d this is what a we know this is minus a this is plus a so x square is from minus a to plus a right what is y value y is equal to uh, b yes uh, y is equal to b d to a uh, y is equal to 0 not b y is equal to 0 here right so uh, this is x axis right so it is x axis y is equal to 0 now x only varies y component does it vary so we have only x component that is given by uh, x squared plus uh, y squared fine into dx okay and uh, what is happening minus a to plus a right because x varies from minus a to plus a okay now we substitute the values what we get is let us so y is equal to 0 so it will be uh, x square dx minus a to plus a so we will get uh, x cube by 3 right so x cube by 3 so this is uh, a cube by 3 minus of a cube by 3 so it is 2 a cube uh, by 3 so what we got is 2 a cube by 3 okay now integral from d to a f dot dl is uh, 2 a cube by 3 right so now we have to add all the four integral values right so in post integral f dot dl is so integral of a to b what is integral a to b value we got minus a b squared integral b to c value we got as minus 2 a cube by minus by 3 minus 2 a b squared c to d we got as minus a b squared d to a we got as uh, 2 a cube by 3 fine so 2 a cube by 3 this value right all the four values if you add what you get is uh, integral f dot dl closed integral f dot dl will be is equal to minus 4 a b square right this is what right hand side right now we have to find left hand side uh, left hand side is a del cross f dot ds so first we find del cross f del cross f we know it is a cartesian coordinate system so a x cap a y cap a z cap dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou z x component is given by x square plus y square y component is minus 2 x y z component 0 from the problem we found right okay if you simplify what you get is uh, that will be minus 4 y a z right so del cross f is minus 4 y a z what i want is integral surface integral of del cross f okay dot ds right uh, del cross f dot ds okay minus del cross f is 4 y a z dot ds it is a vector curl is along z direction so if my vector that is curl of a vector is some other vector let us assume a b c or something a if vector is along a z direction what is the surface area for z direction in cartesian coordinate system it is given by dx dy a z vector if you have any doubt please refer my video on cartesian coordinate system so vector is along a z direction normally seen a z direction means surface is dx dy a z now if we simplify uh, a z a z will be cancelled. Uh, a dot a dot a z a z one. A dot a z dot a z one. So it is uh, minus four y d x d y. Okay. So now we know uh, 
x dx x varies from minus a to plus a y varies from 0 to b right 4 you can't take it outside 4 minus 4 you take it outside uh, y dx dy right so if you integrate it what will happen 4 into the y dy is uh, y squared by 2 0 to b integral dsx x minus a2 plus a okay so if you simplify it is minus right okay if you simplify that what you get is minus 4 a b square right so this is what our answer so this is what del cross f dot ds this is uh, left hand side. What is our right hand side? 4ab squared. Here also we got 4ab squared. So left hand side is equal to right hand side. So Stokes theorem is proved. Stokes theorem is verified. I hope you understand the problem. If you have any doubt, please ask me in the comment section. Thank you.